Hi guys, to officially kick off the winter season, I put together a list of my favorite things for the season. These are my winter essentials, my must-haves, things I cannot live without as the weather starts to change and then my skin and my hair start to change. They may get drier, a little bit more dehydrated, and these things really help me out. It's also a topic that we don't get into much on my channel. We tend to focus a lot on makeup and not so much on the skincare and hair care side of things. I think those are just as important if not more important because you want to make sure that the base your skin is healthy before putting makeup on top and don't worry we are going to talk about a couple makeup things that I think are worth mentioning in this as well I'll start off with hair since there is only one product that I think is worth mentioning because it is the product that I recommend to everybody in the winter and this is the macadamia natural oil deep repair mask I like purchasing it in the tube because to me it's a lot easier a lot more sanitary to use compared to the tub but this one has 3.3 fluid ounces you can pick this up at a local drugstore like Walgreens as well as Nordstrom Rack. I see it there a lot at a discounted price. This can be used as a mask and you put it in your hair for, it says on here, seven minutes. But I like to also use it as a conditioner and I don't leave it in my hair that long. I'd say maybe one to two minutes. And every time I wash my hair now, I use this as the conditioner. I've been using this for a couple years now. I even got a coworker hooked on it. She loves this stuff and it really does make a difference for my hair. It just feels a lot more manageable, not as many flyaways, and it doesn't feel dry at the ends when I'm using this product. Another item I love using in the shower this time of year is the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. This is fragrance free and it says it gently cleanses and moisturizes to soothe itchy dry skin. And I agree, whenever your skin starts to feel a little bit dry and itchy, just grab this and your skin will feel so much better afterwards. Even if you use a lotion after you get out of the shower, I still think this makes a big difference for me. My skin just feels so supple when I get out of the shower and almost like it added a boost of hydration to my skin than if I were to use any other body wash. It's also a creamy consistency so it does feel a lot more nourishing than if you were to use a clear body wash. And although it says fragrance free, I think it does have a slight scent, but it's almost like a, a scent of a product that you would use on a baby. It's like a baby shampoo almost. You can't really smell it too much right out of the bottle, but when you're applying it, you kind of feel that slight scent and it's very calming to me. So now when you get out of the shower, of course you want to put on some lotion and my favorite recently has been the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. This is a favorite for a lot of people and I finally got on the bandwagon. I tried it out in the last several months and now I'm hooked. I recently switched over to this from my Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion, which I loved. And I wanted to try this out since a lot of people love it. And I think I love it even more. I think it's even better for my sensitive skin. It says for all skin types, lightweight, hydration for everyday use, fragrance free. And I love how it feels. It really is great even as a hand cream. I put it all over my body, on my hands. I have a little travel size to take with me to go in my handbag. Another great thing about this lotion is it doesn't feel like I have to reapply. There are some lotions out there that can maybe sink into the skin a little bit too much and I think this is right in the middle. It doesn't just sit on my skin and feel sticky and greasy but then it also doesn't completely soak into the skin where it automatically feels like my skin is dry again. It's that really nice balance. Next up is the face, and although I do have oily skin, I could get little dry patches here and there, a little flakiness, and I love using a polishing mask. This is my favorite one. It's the Freeman Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask, and I do have to repurchase it very soon. And this is a mask and scrub in one, which is what I really like. So you apply it onto your face and leave it on all over for about five minutes, and then you go in and start to massage it into your skin for about one to two minutes. And that's when you can really feel the skin getting polished. It feels a lot smoother. You will take some lukewarm water, start to splash it on your face, and gently remove the scrub. My skin feels so baby soft after I use this. I really think it makes a difference. And also my makeup applies so much better when I use this because my skin just feels like a really nice smooth canvas versus like little bumps and dry patches all over. So this is one of my favorite products for the winter.
So once I'm done polishing and washing my face, I want to make sure that I'm putting moisture back into my skin. And this is something that I've recently added to my skincare routine. It's the Hara Labo Replenishing Hydrator. It is a serum basically that you put under your moisturizer. So what I like to pair this with is right here. This is my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. So I started incorporating this in the last few months just to kind of get used to it and see if my skin likes it and I do not break out from this. This has a very water consistency and you just pat it all over your skin and it can almost get a little bit tacky and it adds that extra layer of hydration that my skin has been looking for because my skin is so sensitive I don't want to completely mess with my skincare routine I wanted to just add something in there to make it a little bit better and that's where this comes in it says that it has super hyaluronic acid and it's a really nice, very watery consistency product, but it still goes a long way. And I have noticed that my skin feels a lot more plush when I use this under my moisturizing gel. So I don't really want to go in with a really thick cream because my skin can break out easily. It's very oily and I don't want to mess with it too much. That's why I love incorporating something like this and adding extra layers to my skin. Ulta carries several products from this line and this is the only one I've used so far. So if you've tried some others, let me know how you like them in a comment. This next product is something I've been really loving the last few months and I think I'm going to especially love it in the winter. And this is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This is now my new favorite primer and it's such a drastic difference from what I used to love. Talk about a 180. My favorite used to be the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector and this is probably one of the most drying, mattifying primers you could possibly reach for and then I switched over to a hydrating primer but that really goes to show how my skin has been kind of changing I am getting a little bit older I'm 28 now and I think it's time for my skin to get a little bit more hydration and not really neglect the fact that it's a little dehydrated. I always look at my skin as oily and not really thinking that adding the hydration will help with the oiliness. So I switched over to this, have been loving it. I also love that this product comes with a pump. Any product that looks like this with a pump gets an A plus in my book. It's a creamy white lightweight formula that I love using especially right under my eyes so that my under eye concealer doesn't look cakey and I also like to bring it all the way around and even on my cheeks a little bit and it helps my foundation apply real smoothly and it looks very natural because it doesn't look matte and cakey. So some people may say that it's just like any other moisturizer but to me I love having that extra hydration because like I said, I don't want to just have a thick moisturizer or a thick cream all over my face. I like having layers. So that's why it's nice to have this and then my daily, not my daily, uh, my dramatically different moisturizing gel and then applying this on top. And it's silicone free by the way, which I really like. I don't like that slippery feel on my skin and it comes with coconut water, electrolytes and probiotics. So I think it's a very nice product from Too Faced. And thanks to all of you who love this and got me to try it, especially my Instagram bestie, Rachel. She loves the stuff and she really got me hooked. Now a couple things for the lips and that's very important to me because I love matte lipstick in the winter. If you've seen my top 10 winter lipsticks video, I talk about how I love matte lips and this is very important for that. This is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. I got this maybe in the last month or so and I'm already going to say that this is a winter must have for me because I've been using it all the time now and it really makes a difference. I like to put this all over my lips and really scrub my lips before I go in and wash my face and it has really helped my lipstick look so much better, my lips so much healthier and my lips look a little bit more plump than if I were to go without this. So I'm very much in love with this. I love the way it smells, it just smells like sugar. I know they also have a couple new scents out but I'm not a big fan of minty things on my lips and I'm also not a fan of cherry. So I didn't get those. I really think the original is perfect and it's only $3. And although I don't really like minty products on my lips, I did enjoy the lip scrub from Lush. It was the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. But it comes in a little tub and I prefer this so much more. I don't know why more people don't do it this way. It's so much easier. So after I exfoliate my lips, I'm going to want to moisturize. And this has been my favorite for the last 
two to three years now and it's the Carmex Moisture Plus. I will go to bed with this on and the next morning I still feel it on my lips. It doesn't dry out, it's long wearing and it's the most moisturizing in my opinion and the most bang for your buck. And I also think this is great to wear under your lipstick. So when I'm getting ready, I will apply this on my lips and let it sit there for a while and if I'm wearing matte lips, I'll blot it off a little bit and then wear the matte lipstick on top and I think it goes on so much nicer. And last but not least, a couple makeup products that I wanted to include and one of them of course is a blush that I love this time of year and I'm going to talk about one that's in the plum category this time around. This is the Instain from The Balm in the shade Pinstripe. It's a classic plum and this is perfect for the winter. I also think it's great for the fall, but very nice in the winter, especially with some berry lips, even with nude lips. I think it adds a lot of color to the cheek and it's very, very pigmented. I really recommend using a stippling brush when you're using this. This is also a matte blush, so if you're into matte blushes, I really recommend this one. And the Instains really are the best when it comes to long wearing makeup. You can apply this at the early hours of the day and then by the end of the night you are still going to have nice pigmented cheeks. So I really recommend these and this is my favorite shade for this time of year. And this last product may not seem like a typical winter must have, but there is a reason behind it. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Reserve Your Cabana. And the reason why I wanted to include this is because in the winter your skin can start to look a little bit dull or maybe you're really into the all matte everything and then you're kind of like oh my skin is just missing something. This is what it's missing. This doesn't look like much in the pan. It almost looks like a matte powder, but when you apply this to your cheekbones, a little bit above your brow bone, it adds so much um, glow to your skin, but in a very natural way. It's almost like you can't detect it. It doesn't look like a highlighter on your face, but it almost just looks like a glow. So even if you're pairing it with a matte blush like this, I think it just adds that extra dimension to your face so it doesn't feel flat and your skin just doesn't look dull this time of year. So if you have not tried this, I really recommend this powder. It's some of the best out there. I love the fact that you can just put this pretty much all over your face and it looks very natural. It doesn't look like a shimmery highlighter. And of course it depends on where you live, but in the winter months it could start to feel a little gloomy, a little drab, and your skin may not be as radiant. It might be a little bit more dull because it can get dry and a little parched and that's why I think it's nice to add a little life back into your skin by adding a really glowy product that's not too glowy so it's really glowy in the sense that it's very healthy and natural but it's not shimmery and that is it for my winter essentials my winter must-haves I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you have any similar favorites and if you have any other recommendations I would love to know what they are I am in my late 20s and as I get into my 30s I want to make sure that I'm taking care of my skin so I would love to know what some of the suggestions are out there thank you guys so much for watching happy winter and I will see you guys again very soon bye